Hey guys, Brett Taylor from BleacherNation.com coming to you with today's Sabre Short, which is WOBA. That stands for Weighted On Base Average, but you're safe to call it WOBA. 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 In short, WOBA attempts to measure the total offensive value of a player and put it in a scale that we recognize. It does this by taking every possible outcome in a given plate appearance and then weighting those outcomes based on how much value in terms of run scoring that they actually provide. Isn't that kind of what OPS does, you ask? Hey, don't interrupt me. OPS is on-base percentage plus slugging percentage, which is a useful, albeit rough, tool for evaluating total offensive value. We like to know how often a batter gets on base. We also like to know how many bases the batter is getting when he knocks a hit. So OPS roughly accomplishes that. The main problem with OPS is that it treats a point of on-base percentage as equal to a point of slugging percentage. And we know that that's not accurate. In fact, a point of on-base percentage is worth nearly twice as much as a point of slugging. The logic there should be pretty obvious when you think about it. Getting on base one time is, offers a whole lot more value than merely getting one extra base when you're already on base. So, by weighting the relevant offensive events, WOBA corrects the problem of OPS by giving you a more accurate picture of a player's offensive performance. An example. This season, Cardinals first baseman Matt Adams posted a 779 OPS, which isn't too bad in the current offensive environment. Cubs third baseman Luis Valbuena was at 776, a few points lower, although he did have way more awesome bat flips. So if you were going on OPS alone, you'd say that Adams was just a little better at the plate in 2014 than Valbuena. But here's the thing. Valbuena's OPS was made up of more than 20 points more in on-base percentage than Adams, which means that it's possible he was actually better offensively despite the lower OPS. Since WOBA weights more precisely, we can check out their, the two players' respective WOBAs to confirm that, indeed, at 342, Valbuena was a fair bit better offensively this year than Adams, who was at just 337. To give you a sense of what numbers are good or bad in terms of WOBA, the league average WOBA in 2014 was 310. In the National League only, if we cut out the AL, it was 307. But if you clip out all of the pitchers, which obviously drag that number down, the real average for position players in the National League this year was 316. The top 40 players in baseball were at about 350 or higher, and the bottom 40 were about 310 or lower. For more on WOBA, I highly recommend checking out Fangraphs.com and the individual player pages and leaderboards there. You'll also see the stat quite frequently on my site, BleacherNation.com. Thank you for watching this, and make sure to subscribe to this awesome channel for more great videos like this. Thanks. I used to watch a lot of Blossom. Whoa.